We're back for season four. I'm gonna give you guys the best updated drill moves for all builds in NBA 2K24. I'll also be doing a basic beginner's dribble tutorial at the end of the video. Without further ado, drop a like and let's get into it. But first I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, PrizePix. PrizePix is now offering you the chance at 100 times your cash with their new demons and goblins. It's simple. Step one, select your sport. Step two, select the category. Step three, choose your players. Step four, choose if those players are going to go Go more or less than the predictions in those categories and of course I got a promo for you guys if you use my code young Dirk and click the link in the description price picks will match your deposit up to $100 for example if you deposit $10 they will match it with another 10 if you deposit 50 they'll match it with a 50 and so on and so on again that's code young Dirk and use the link in the description now let's get into this banger video okay I'm gonna give my honest thoughts on the season rewards for the first time okay let's Let's see here we come on 2k please give me something good we got a nice t-shirt oh boy oh my goodness that's just what i wanted we got a tube jump shot meter i don't use my meter rocket green launch i guess that's not bad okay i don't really care about this trail but i guess you know it's it's it, this green thing's okay you know we got the thompson twins uh okay peace oh boy plus one block scholar terrible don't care lakers and celtics okay that's not bad uh military that's a military jack okay good okay. i don't know what i don't know what 2k is talking about a fox mask just what i wanted thank you so much 2k i wanted it so bad oh my god plus one close shot yeah i really need this too okay got the new emotes okay an historic all-star jersey okay i wear the same outfit every day so we're not going to talk about that the floor setter oh boy this the plus one mid-range okay that's actually a win okay thank you very much okay a hairstyle okay wreck arm sleeves okay they for level 27 wreck arm sleeves is crazy some xp another stupid uh, scholar okay we got more mascots whatever slasher banners i guess because i dunk a lot i could use that uh more emotes that Speed Gatorade Season 4 Race Suit. Wemby and LeBron James, not gonna lie, this is the coolest thing in this whole season. And then uh, Dune Buggy, I guess this makes more sense because we have the beach. So, you know, I guess I'll use this a little bit. And then the Gold Floor Setter. I would say this is probably, respectfully, one of the worst rewards that we have had so far. But it's okay, let's get into the rest of the video. First thing I want you guys to do is go to your controller settings and put your pro stick orientation on absolute this will make it a lot easier to dribble and then put your pro stick function on default or dribble moves i prefer default so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go over each move one by one so make sure you guys pay attention so you can figure out which dribble moves are best for you in your play style okay let's start with the dribble style if you are 6'5 to 6'9 you have three options pro lebron james and zach levine now the data suggests that lebron is the quickest if you want to use lebron go ahead but me and joe knows both like and use pro i just think it is better i don't know why it just is and it has a nice left stick cross. If you're 6'5 to 6'9, I highly recommend putting on pro. If you are under 6'5, you have one option, and that is Kyrie Irving. It is the best overall dribble style in the game. If you don't have the 90 speed with ball, then use pro. Your signature size up. On my 6'6s, six I use De'Aaron Fox, but you have a lot of good options. Giannis is a good option. You only need a 65 ball handle. Of course, if you have the 95, Steve Francis is the best Tracy McGrady is another good one as well Ben Simmons is a new one. Oh, but you need to be s3 for that my bad and then we got Dwayne Wade so here's what I want you to do all the ones that I said I want you to try them out and if you can't decide just put on De'Aaron Fox your regular breakdown combo I'm gonna be completely honest with you I don't know one top player that uses this move so I'm just gonna tell you which one I have on I have on De'Aaron Fox if you want to use it it's right stick up without your or right trigger aggressive breakdown combo the best one is John Morant but I'm gonna be completely honest with you and not a lot of top players are using the aggressive breakdown combo but if you do you're holding the right trigger and you're flicking your right stick up and John Morant is the best one pay attention your escape moves is your most important dribble move if you have a low ball control your two options are Jimmy Butler and Kevin Durant but I am using Jimmy Butler 
on my 6'4 and I have a 95 ball control. This is underrated and it is glitchy. The only other two good ones that the top players use are Kemba Walker, which is what I now use on my 6'6 and then Trey Young. I don't care what anybody says. There is only four escapes you should be using. Trey Young, Kemba, Kevin Durant, and Jimmy Butler, and that is it, I promise you, bro. Your combo moves, I do it every once in a while, but it's really not like a good scoring move, but I like to use De'Aaron Fox. Crossover, another very, very important dribble category, because if you utilize these right, you can get a lot of free buckets. We got a new crossover in Tyrese Halliburton. Let's check it out. The crossover is decent, but it's not one of the best and definitely not really usable. The best one in the game is Kobe, but you need an 88 ball handle. Not to worry, okay? Because the other two best ones are De'Aaron Fox and John Wall. You need to put on John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, or Kobe. I will explain why later in the dribble tutorial you can get a ton of free buckets. Okay, we got the behind the back. They added Tyrese Halliburton and I've heard it was glitchy. Let's check it out. Okay, I like what I see. I now see the hype. It's definitely a good behind the back. The spam even looks good as well. Okay, I like this. I like how it pulls you back a little bit to shoot that three and it has a decent running behind the back. Yes, it is glitchy, but the best one by far is Jamal Murray, and you only need an 83 ball control. I cannot tell you how many times I have scored off this move, off of the explosive behind the back. It is godly. It's the best one in the game. Now, if you don't have the 83 ball control, you can use DeMar DeRozan. You only need a 75. This is what I use on my 6'9". The spins, they added the Tyrese Halliburton. Let's see how it is. Hey, it's just all right. I like the reverse spin right here. More looks kind of glitchy, but it's just okay. Now I do not spin a lot, but I have on Durant. I really only do a spin when I go for clips. And if you don't like Durant, you can try DeRozan. But as far as like the moves that are comp, I don't know any top players that use their spin move. The hesitation. Let me tell you guys, I like this a lot. This new Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, so the full animation is this. Do not let the full animation play out or you will lose your adrenaline. The reason why I like this so much is because of the combos. It looks like you're going one way and then you can just hit the combo right back out of it. I really think this is going to be glitchy and really good. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to try out Tyrese Halliburton full time and I will keep you guys updated if it is the best or not. Before that, I was using John Morant and then a other good one is Chris Paul, but I like John Morant the best and you only need a 75 ball control, but I'm going to try out Tyrese. This might low key be the best one now in the game. Your step back is your second best dual move, so pay attention. If you are under six foot five, use curry i use this it is godly if you are six five to six nine the best overall one in the game in most people's opinion is john wall they even think it is better than curry if for some reason you do not like john wall or curry and you want to look like more of a dribble god use levine and harden these ones are super super quick and the spam looks glitchy as hell I need you guys to start to take advantage of the triple threat. The best one is Kobe Bryant. I do the spin move out of this a lot. Okay, this is a beginner's dribble tutorial. If you want an advanced one, I will leave that in the description. I highly recommend watching the advanced one after you watch this. The first one we're gonna go over is your escape. This is your main move you're going to do to explode off of the dribble. You're gonna flick your right stick either up diagonal right or left to the opposite ball hand and as soon as you do you're then going to move your left stick in that same direction as the ball hand while holding turbo the entire time and that is how you will get your explosive escape the next move we got is the snatch back this is a great move to combo with and to shoot out of it's super super easy you're holding your right trigger the entire time and then just flicking down on your right stick that is literally it 
The next move is your explosive standing behind the back. I shoot out of this move all the time. It's one of the best moves in the game. You are going to be holding your right trigger the entire time, and you're going to flick your right stick down a diagonal right or left to the opposite ball hand. That is how you do the explosive behind the back. Those are your three basic core moves, and what I want you to do is just combo and spam those three moves together, and you'll be able to create a ton of open shots and a ton of ways to get to the basket. Next move is your signature size up. How you do this is very easy. You are just going to flick your right stick in any direction and that is how you activate your signature size up. Okay, now for the crossover. Earlier in the video, I told you guys I was gonna explain why you have to put on John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, or Kobe because you can just get a ton of free buckets. Anytime you are slightly past your defender and you have an open space to the basket, I want you to hit Hit the crossover and it'll launch you straight to the hoop to do your running crossover is very easy while you are running and holding the right trigger you're going to flick your right stick up diagonal right or left into the opposite ball hand so if the ball's in your right hand you're going to flick your right stick up diagonal left the next move is the hop back. I have been throwing this in now with my combos a lot. I will pretend I'm going to the basket and then whoop, I'll hit the hop back and I will shoot that wide open three. How you do this, you are not holding turbo and you are flicking down on your right stick. Now keep in mind, this is connected to your step back and each one has a different hop back. If you want the advanced dribble tutorial that is on screen, I highly recommend you check it out. Hope this video helped you guys out. Drop a like if it did. Have a good day. Go out. <laughs>